In this video, we derive the equation of index of adiabatic process gamma is equal to Cp upon Cv. So, first we understand the basic nomenclature related to the equations. So, here you see this is the diagram of the pressure versus volume on the x axis, volume is there, on the y axis, pressure is there. So, P1, V1, T1 is indicate the initial condition. P means pressure, V means volume and T means temperatures. Okay. And this one is indicate this initial condition. So, on this diagram, you see this is the one state that is a indicate the pressure and volume. Next is the P2, V2, T2. It is the final condition. Means final condition is denoted by the 2. So, here in this diagram, you see this is the second state. At the second state, pressure is P2, volume is V2. Now, next parameter is del Q means heat supply. Del W is work done. DU is equal to change in internal energy. Cp is equal to specific heat at the constant pressure. Cv is equal to specific heat at constant volume. And the gamma is equal to adiabatic index that we are going to derive the equations of the gamma that is a Cp upon Cv. We join these two state by using this curve line it is called as the adiabatic process and this adiabatic is process is follow the rules pv raised to gamma is equal to constants now according to the first law of thermodynamics the del q is equal to del w plus du means heat supply is equal to work done plus change in internal energy and we already know that for the adiabatic process the change in the heat energy means del q is zero means there is a no heat supply and no heat rejection is there that means the del q is equal to zero so what now in this equation instance of this del q we putting this zero value okay so we get this equation del w plus du is equal to zero means work done plus change in internal energy is equal to zero now in this equation we putting this equation of the work done and the internal energy so we putting this value of work done and internal energy this equation so what is the equation of internal energy equation of the internal energy is the mcv t2 minus t1 plus equation of the work done so equation of the work done that we derived in the last video for the adiabatic process that is a p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon gamma minus 1 is equal to 0 now then after we do certain modification instance of this p1 v1 we are able to return MRT1. Instance of this P2V2, we are able to return MRT2. Okay, so from that we take the MR common and this remaining parts in the bracket that is a T1 minus T2. Now next, we put this value of R. Okay, instance of the R, we return CP minus CV. Okay, so other things are same. Okay, so here instance of this R, we can return CP minus CV. Then after, we do the further modification in this equation. Here what modification is there? Here you see plus sign is there. Okay. So this parameter, this equation is supplied on the right sides. Okay. Then we need to return minus. But here we are not written minus. Okay. So avoid this minus sign. What we do? We change this temperature. So here it is T1 minus T2 is there. And we convert into the T2 minus T1. Okay. So we are avoid this minus signs. Then after what we do? We open this bracket. Okay. So, when we open this bracket, one times we get the MCP and second time we get the MCV. Okay, that is a minus MCV. Okay, so MCP and is multiplied with this bracket that is T2 minus T1 minus. So, here the minus sign of the CV is there. So, it is a minus MCV T2 minus T1 is there. All other things are same. Then, after what we do, we take the common from the right side that is a M T2 minus T1 is taking the common. Okay. So, what we take the common that is we take the common m t2 minus t1. Okay, so remaining part is the cp minus cv upon gamma minus 1. On the left side, you see also that is a m t2 minus t1 is there. So, from the right side, we take the common that is m t2 minus t1. So, it is a cancel. Okay, and only left side, only remaining part is the cv. On the right side, the cp minus cv divided by gamma minus 1. Now, then after what we do, we change some parameters okay this gamma minus 1 is supplied on the left side and this cv is supplied on the right sides okay so it is a cp divided by cv 
minus CV divided by CV. So CV divided by CV is written as the 1. Then after this minus 1 is supplied on the right side. So it is converted into plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay. So remaining part is only CP divided by CV. So this is our final equation that is a gamma is equal to CP divided by CV. So thank you for watching this video. If you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to BME, EME and other subject of this mechanical engineering. For BME and EME various link is provided in descriptions and the card for other subject I request to visit the playlist.